Joe Shepard and bring a little bit of an insight of the Forza Dawn event on Forza Horizon 3. So, just to team you gentlemen in, ladies and gentlemen, hashtag Team Drift crew, uh, what I was doing is pretty much been playing Forza Horizon 3 for a bit, uh, for actually for a long time. And uh, it is true, uh, I watched it on, uh, I think it's Stevo. Hold on. But uh, anyways, it does work. So I've been pretty much getting exactly, so yeah, his name is Stevo2175, definitely check him out. Uh, he's got awesome content on Forza Horizon 3. Uh, but uh, as he said in the video, uh, Tomb 10 does know about this little glitch. Uh, you won't get penalized for it at all. Uh, I think it's a way of them letting us know that uh, Forza Horizon 4 is actually on the way to be announced, hopefully. But uh, I've been pretty much doing certain ones that I wanted. Uh, and I've got the Camaro. I'm just doing the last little bit of the Forza of the race to get the uh, hard to get Subaru BOZ Forza Horizon Edition, of course. So, as you can see, I am driving the Dodge Ram, uh, Ram Runner. This thing is fully upgraded. So, once I get up in front of these little dinky guys that want to get these cute little full Raptors that think they can compete with my truck. Um, so it is a Ram 1500, but they turned it into a Ram Runner. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, as I say, no, they put uh, some Baja suspension on it. Uh, this thing is for a very stock engine. Just really upgraded to what I like. The tune is by me, of course. Uh, I think I grouped that up. Mm, we'll see in a second. Oh, no. Sweet. But anyways, as I was saying though, uh, the tune is by me, I managed to get it decently good for the acceleration on all-wheel drive. Uh, the paint is just uh, dark uh, red with uh, green rims, which I think is pretty cool. And then the bed is also done by me with uh, the little vinyl decal. But uh, definitely it's been a one heck of a ride on the Forza Horizon. Uh, hopefully we'll see what happens in Forza Horizon 4. Uh, Microsoft actually just had their announcement on today and tomorrow, so later today. But uh, definitely was surprising to hear that uh, Microsoft does have their own little press conference for what they're doing with the computer stuff and uh, more Windows 10. Um, I guess future stuff to do with uh, Windows 10. Uh, personally, I don't mind Windows 10. It's actually pretty good. Uh, for a while there, I stopped on Windows 7. I liked how easy it was to use the uh, the, so the, uh, the software, I guess you would say. But uh, definitely use Windows 10. Uh, definitely, it's a bit of both. It's simple. Uh, very user friendly after you get to learn how to use it. Um, definitely is something that uh, is a similar direction. And to see more future features added into Windows 10, uh, it's definitely something to hopefully see. As you can see, I am in fifth gear, I am using top man rope clutch. And that is the end of this race. We win the amazing. Oh. Uh, I would say major, but the very hard to get Sue B.O.Z. for the Horizon Edition. And there you have it. Uh, Sue but H. Okay, I don't think it's my bad. I don't think it's a Sue Edition. I thought it was a Sue I got robbed. But uh, definitely got some cores I liked. Um, definitely surprised you guys with a video. But Later on. Oh, it's a nice 80 suit. Oh, stop. You even saw this thing is a handful. But I definitely use this in Need for Speed Payback as uh, Jessica's vehicle, the Renault. 
and then I used the Skyline, and actually if you use that and the Chevy Valeo for the map, it would, you would get an achievement for that, which was pretty cool. But uh, I haven't played that game in a long time. Um, I don't know, I just lost interest in it. It's, there's no new um, abandoned codes at all, they just changed the class that they go into, which it's okay, but it's definitely not the best way to go. Uh, unfortunately, that game is dying down, I think. I don't know, it's just me, but I don't play it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys, ladies and gentlemen, do play uh, Nicholas City Payback and are still enjoying the game. But for me, I just lost the whole uh, wanting to play it. Ooh, the paint. Do you watch the paint? No. Ah, uh, it's not how you take it through. I was still on the grapes a little bit, but still turning in. No, stay off. Nope. So this one is for the BMW M4 Verizon Edition. Ooh, just will miss that, but. But as you can see, definitely miss the clip. It can uh, mess you up pretty good. Um, oh, speaking of that, here we go. I don't think I can change the settings, can I? No, can I? Yes, I can. <laughs> I goofed it up. I think this is all drive, to be honest. But just like that, you can easily end up in last place. It's very uh, punishing if you pretty much said you have it on for the driver tours. And I'm just shorting it. I mucked this one up. Hopefully the next one goes a bit as planned. I don't really have to do a motor, just any few ace to get it. I don't know if you have to come in first or not, but I'll probably to see. I'll definitely be coming in ninth. Not the best, but I think it might be. But you see, I do. it does count, so you don't have to come in first at all, which is good. We'll pick another one. Ooh, the SVT Raptor Shelby. I don't think I've ever driven it much. Um, well, Definitely Horizon 2 with uh, Europe was pretty cool. There was a lot of places you can drift, even though it was arcade. Arcade, I should say. But you still had a little bit of realism to a point of, uh, of drifting in that. That's where I learned to drift. Well, the beginning of Forza 6, Forza Motor 6, and the beginning. Beginning, I guess, or slash end of uh, Forza Horizon 2. Uh, I did play the original Forza Horizon 1. It was definitely uh, a lot different. You couldn't change much. You couldn't change the drivetrain at all. It was pretty much stock, uh, front, rear, all wheel drive, drivetrain. You could upgrade the engine. You couldn't do anything to the body. Which. Was interesting how they went about it. Definitely not not how I would have done things. But uh, hey, I enjoyed it. Uh, certain parts did make it challenging. Definitely do recommend trying it out. Is Xbox backwards compatible? But uh, of course, I played it on the Xbox 360, which I still do have the slim edition, which has a different power brick in the back. Uh, just before they start making them, so you can no longer get the Xbox uh, 360 anymore. Definitely throwing rubber. Definitely lucky I don't have to pay for tires every time because, man, tires are on the cold dirt. And so, especially depending on the sport you're going into. Hey, 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 watch the paint, dude. Sorry, you ass chunky. We got Drift, Drifting Viking. Uh, again, they're also. TRS Chucky is a YouTuber, I believe. It's been a while. Whoa, everybody just slow down. Thank you for the points. Lost. But yeah, I was just messing around. Uh, 
Ran out a little bit. Hung with a friend of mine for a little bit, and he watched as I messed around about my health food. Drifting an all wheel drive BMW. Good gracious, man. What, have this, what has it come to nowadays? Uh, also, I do have a video of the free Toyota Corolla 2018 edition. I did do a collaboration with another small time YouTuber. I will definitely have that up uh, later today. Uh, also, uh, I did say in that video, I am working on a uh, intro as well with that with the uh, with the guy. So I'm gonna have to record two different vehicles. The 1970 Dodge Hornet Superbeat and the 1980s IRZ Camaro, of course. I just gotta get the Camaro a little bit more better tuned and then I'll be mixing that. So one of them is gonna be intro for each to the one. Um, it, I do have the song picked out and the end one. I just gotta make sure that the end one may or may not be copyright. I don't know if it's owned by anyone, but the first one is fine. I also don't mind doing shows for the little channels. Uh, also collaborations. Oop. That was a bad idea. Go, 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 go. There's his brother. The SUV is working a bit. Ooh, hits a tree. Good gracious, man. You okay in there? You know, if this wasn't a race, I would definitely go back and check to see if it was okay. But good gracious, that's a terrible thing to have happened to that driver. But uh, as they do say, the race must go on. I don't have to be in first, but I am competitive. I uh, try to do my best, and hopefully it pans out. I do want to also participate in the ES ESPA uh, drift event. I do got. I am signed up for that. I just gotta finish up on the uh, two vehicles. And then see, yeah, uh, sit there now collecting dust, unfortunately, in my garage, which I do have a lot of vehicles, as you can see. There are some that I am willing that I will probably end up selling. But it uh, definitely is a shame to uh, put that much work into the tunes and uh, not able to get much uh, use them at all. But uh, definitely if you want to drift or tandem, definitely uh, hit me up on uh, YouTube or comment your game with Ted. Uh, the name is also the same as it is on, except it's a small little S on my Xbox. It's uppercase D, uppercase S, so it's Drift Shepherd. Uh, Shepherd's from Mass Effect. I love playing that game. I put so much hours into the first one. Well, I actually got up to like level 51 or 52 before I got to the second one. I definitely think that Xbox was the best way to go through the uh, Mass Effect series. I uh, wish it would continue on, but again, um, your character gets his life, which is a very heroic thing to do. But uh, it's very unfortunate that it had to come to that. But to see the other ones, the rest of your squad, and the universe live. It was a courageous uh, action to do. So the controller I'm using is the Xbox One Elite with Speed Freaks. I also have it mapped out. You can have up to two slots. And also if you go to Xbox Accessories, you can have those on standby. And I actually do have one for uh, Gears of War. Uh, it's pretty good. I definitely did play the third one and also the fourth one, which was Judgment Day. Uh, pretty cool, but uh, I never really got finished the first one. I do collect the dog tags in that one as well, which uh, does take quite some time. If I do have a video on that, so uh, not a video, but it's when I started playing it, it was on my own time. I wasn't recording any content for the game at all. But do let me know if you would like to see some Gears of War on the Xbox One X, of course. 
and also we'll be playing with the Xbox One, uh, well, Xbox One Elite controller with the control freaks. Definitely don't use any of them without that. Also, it's not sponsored. I just I like them. I use them. So uh, I'm not. If I like them, why not let someone else try them as well? I also use them on my PS4. And the whole time I played LA Noir, it is with the control freak on my controller. Uh, unfortunately, the new Xbox uh, PS5 is in production slowly. Will I be getting a PS5? Not. I will be staying with Xbox. I guess you can say I am an Xbox uh, fan more than Sony. Not to put them down, but uh, Sony's got 2.4 gigahertz on Wi-Fi, Xbox One, and even the X, 5 gigahertz easy on Wi-Fi. So, as you can see, I'll show you all the trophies that I have gotten. Oops, wrong one. Or the achievements I should say, sorry. So there's the BMW, the Jeep for off road. I did get the uh, Nissan Skyline GTO uh, for. Forza Horizon Edition, of course. So, there's no worry for that. But definitely do grab them when you still can. I do have the uh, another one of those. I have, I think, five of them on Forza Horizon. Sorry, Forza Horizon 7. But uh, we'll go in the garage. We'll definitely take a look and uh, go from there. I know it's down the road, but it's easy just to uh, cut to it. Don't worry, you don't have to go through all the loading screens that I've done. To be a quick uh, action every time. But. So. <clears throat> since we've got the uh, Forza events done, the ones that I like. Also, there is a percentage off on the Aston Martins. Definitely grab them if you don't have them. Uh, so the Audis, I do have one, uh, not that one, uh, it is a 2001, uh, OS, the event, so it's like this one, but the 2001 model, I think it looks nice, uh, Slap Train, I copied it from him, but, uh, it handled pretty good, and just a little bit of soft, and it handled a lot, pretty, a lot more better too. So now we are not one, but two BMW M4 Coupe Horizon Editions. So welcome to the Drift family, BMW. Also, uh, the reason why I say Team Drift is makes it more personal to you guys. Uh, it's more welcome community. Definitely come in. I also will, if you are hesitant on uh, getting into drifting, find a car you're happy with to, uh, drifting. Uh, so driving, whether JDM, uh, supercars, depends. I don't do Ferrari, Lambo, or the Porsche, but uh, any kind of car. But I will try my hardest to find a tune to tune it the best I can to my ability. Uh, let me know what upgrades you want in it. How much torque you want to put on the horsepower? If you want balance, I love doing balance because it's honestly best of both worlds. Excuse me. So as you can see, this one is 746 horsepower and 704 pounds of torque. This one's uh, 509 and 400. Oh, sorry, 409 and 400. This one is pretty much the same, a little bit different. It's 499 horsepower and 593 pounds of torque. Uh, there's the other version of it. Where this is twin turbos, and I think this is a supercharger. This one's also built for drifting. <clears throat> The beautiful 1970 Chevy El Camino Super Sport 454 Big Block. I love to drift this bad boy in Forza, who not more than six. It pushes a big old 450 horsepower and torque as well. Uh, definitely a challenging car to drift if you want to get into it. Uh, one of those for racing, ones for drifting. This I race, but you can drift it. Uh, this was from the Fast and the Furious. I forget which one, but uh, Vin Diesel drives it and uh, puts the shifter 
down or up, and it brought the nose all the way up to the tail end. But definitely a very cool vinyl uh, paint done. I also have it wrapped in the Forza Horizon 2 as well. Definitely pretty cool. <clears throat> it's a cruise build, but that's for drifting, of course. Then this one, I think, is also for drifting. I uh, got not one, but two Camaros as well. Another two more Camaros. Uh, I believe this one is for drifting. This one's not. Uh, this bad boy is also for drifting. This is what uh, Stop Train did one with the blower through the middle. Oop. It was a uh, very. They were supposed to almost like a thousand horsepower, roughly. You don't quote me on that. But, uh, oop. Definitely a uh, nice quarter drift. Definitely, if you can handle the power of the vehicles, you can. They can handle pretty nicely. Uh, don't forget though, every tune is different. Not everyone can handle the same tune, but uh, definitely give it a try and go from there. <clears throat> but I don't have a problem with uh, tuning your course for you or putting a tune on code that you want to drive to get into drifting. Uh, honestly, I did that. I took tunes that were good. Uh, most of them slop train and uh, once I felt comfortable with the tune vehicle that I was driving, then I slowly started playing around with the upgrades and then the tunes. And uh, now it's a big difference. Uh, this is one that's for drifting as well. The nice battle I uh, also was there to put a drift build. This one I don't use at all. This is what I was trying to uh, put into a drift build on Forza Motorsports 7. It was the Forza Thorn and Vehicle. So I was trying to put the same amount of torque and horsepower. I just got to go and see what I have and if it's engine swapped or not. I have a feeling it might be, but I'm not 100% sure. The pre-order edition, I got not one but two. So one is mine and one is uh, I bought off the auction block. And it's got very little done to it. Just... Uh, some handling modifications, uh, roll cage, uh, weight reduction, wheels, just some minor stuff to uh, make it handle a lot better. <clears throat> and then you got this, the regular Hellcats. I definitely gotta say that it does look nice with the wide body. The white arches around it definitely brings it out. The Vipers, never really done anything with them. This one is tuned for drifting. Uh, this one is, uh, I think, a race build or a drift build, but it is pushing 1,000 or 400 horsepower and 870 foot pounds of torque. Weighing at a whopping 2,833 pounds. Definitely a handful. Uh, this one, and one of these I did was a how to drift on dirt video. Uh, it worked pretty good. And actually, one of you subscribers said thank you. So, definitely appreciate that. Big thanks to you, my man. Uh, anyone else that wants to try drifting in Android, definitely check it out. The video, uh, I'll leave in the link as well. For those who definitely want to try it out, it is a good tune. Uh, if you can tune it a lot better, go for it. Uh, by all means, definitely uh, could go and improve a lot more if you want. But uh, for me, it's pretty, it was good. So the Ferraris, I don't touch, like I said. Uh, it's just a bit of a try. I try with the uh, Ferrari 575M Milano. Front engine, we will drive. Uh, 2002, of course. But yeah, I tried tuning this. It was a pain in the butt. But uh, that you win some, you lose some. Can't win them all, so I just move on to next. Uh, these ones I haven't touched. Uh, I don't like the full focus. Uh, 2017 looks super nice. Um, and this is the stock without it. I don't think it's really stock stock, but it's. L mid high A class Ford Raptors still right. I don't really use them at all. Uh, <laughs> GT Le Mans definitely nice car. Got in for the six as well. There's a Shelby GT 350 O, oh, a beautiful car. Definitely has enough torque to uh, stress some tires any time of the day, any time of the week, days, weekends, you name it. She will shred tires like crazy. Uh, Cam Blocks, Jim Connor, 9, Focus, OSOX, All Wheel Drive, a whopping 600 horsepower and 63 foot pounds of torque. 
she will shred and the uh, snow, gravel, all wheel drive, definitely it's a car if you can handle it, she can get the job done. <laughs> the 2013 Ford Chevy GT 500. Definitely love the vinyl. I don't remember who exactly did it, but definitely congrats on the vinyl, dude. I love the cool. Definitely Mustangs are my favorite. Um, there's no doubt about it. I am a hardcore muscle car guy. Whether it's the Chevy, Dodge, Ford, they're all nice cars in their own ways. But if you know how to use them, they can definitely get down anytime. It's pushing 662 horsepower, 631 foot pounds of torque, weighing in at 3,898 pounds. It's a heavy car, but she can shred tires. Uh, again, the Raptor, it's alright. Uh, not really use it. <laughs> the Transit Van, never use it, just one off a uh, spin. Try to drip this thing. Uh, it's in his work. Focus OS 09, it's alright. GT, definitely a beautiful Golfer 05. Wish they would have kept the same body style, but uh, hey, I understand you gotta get along with the times. Eco Boost V6, not bad. Uh, it's definitely pushing like, I, uh, if you look up Modern Auto TV, that one was putting 20 PSI uh, boost on an EcoBoost engine. The 2015 that he picked up that's putting into a drift build, which is pretty cool to see. And my absolute favorite, 1993 Ford SVT Cobra O, aka the Fox Body. Uh, a Forza 6, it's pushing a twin turbo, I believe, and uh, it's got a good, decent tune on it. But I uh, can't go on about a good old Fox body. I actually saw one recently. So nice sound of a 5.0 liter V8. Uh, Mad Max style, if you put the, uh, eh, the blower in the middle. Pretty cool. As you can see, I have a lot of uh, 302 Horizon Edition. Uh, blocked out, not blocked out. And then one of them is for drifting, one's not. This was pretty cool to see. Uh, that was the other one you could win. It's a pretty cool call for its arrow. Uh, definitely started off the GT series of the Ford GT. So it's pretty much the ancestor. Uh, I definitely got one of these to drift in Forza Horizon 2, I want to say. Oh, Forza Horizon 6. It definitely was a handful to try and tune. Tried to get the GMC to tune, the Cyclone. Never did, so I just left it. Another van, not going to keep it. Uh, this one's for drifting. As you can see, 1,000 or 14 horsepower, 841 foot pounds of torque. This one is tuned by me. Uh, even 600 horsepower and torque, 2,515 pounds. Uh, definitely my tune. Uh, it's decent, but it will spin tight. It was like crazy though. So there's a 2016 Honda Civic Type O. Sorry. It's not a tire order, I goofed up. It's a 2018 Honda Civic Type O that I have built for tuning and drifting. I just got a engine swap it to a 5.3 liter V8 on Forza Motor 7. But uh, the Unicorn Pack, definitely pretty cool. Uh, fortunately, on Forza 7, it's only the Jiro Pack version of Forza 7, so I lucked out. That was my bad. Uh, um. I actually built one of these, sort of, on uh, Forza Horizon, nope, Motor 6. And I wanted, this one's for drifting. Definitely can drift pretty good on Hot Wheels. I got this one for drifting as well. I don't know if I drifted that one. This one is pretty cool. Uh, on Forza Horizon, nope, sorry, Motor 6. I do have a nice vinyl done up by someone else. Just random. Looks nice, so uh, why not? The Jags, I don't touch for tuning. <laughs> the Jeep Trailcat, which has got a Hellcat engine, which is insanely crazy that they could fit a Hellcat engine into this Jeep. But it's pretty cool. It came out with, I believe, the Hot Wheels expansion. Uh, it's pushing 707 horsepower, 650 foot pounds of torque, 4,600 pounds, and it is stock. The Jeep Grand Cherokee SOT Streets Street Race Technology is what that stands for. Um, 
But yeah, I have this one actually. Uh, when you bought the game from EB Games, you got a little model of it. And same with Forza Motorsport 7, you got the model of the Porsche as well, which is pretty cool. I actually went to a legit uh, Lamborghini dealership in Montreal. Uh, definitely, there's one, the race for pushes 650 horsepower. That's crazy. But you can see, uh, not one, not two, but three. Lamborghini Huracan LP 610 for Horizon Edition 2014. And then also got uh, four of these as well. The Lamborghini Setter Elemento 2011. That's a mouthful. See that in a trunk too. So it's, yeah. Lamborghini Mosa Lago LP 670 for SV. Love the blocked out look. Of course, wide body. Why not? It looks so nice with the block on block. Map block with uh, map block rooms looks sweet. This one I did myself, or well, not the vinyl, but uh, the upgrade. So it's even 600 or uh, 388 horsepower and 304 pounds of torque. It definitely it's got some zip to it. Land Rovers not a big fan, though, right? Uh, Lexus SC300 is definitely good for drifting. Also, uh, Evan Shanks put a I believe a 2JZ in it or a 1J. Uh, swapped in it. Uh, I never watched much of it, but it was pretty cool. You could win this one again as well. I don't need to, but uh, if you want to, go for it. Maserati Gran Turismo S. Definitely a nice car. 2010. Mazda MX-7. Not really a big fan. Durax 8 I do have a tune on Forza Motor 6. Same with uh, the RX-7, which is my... I love the car. Definitely love that it's rotary. And then the old original 1990s Mazda Serviana RX-7 Rotary. It's S2 class, 718 horsepower, 466 horsepower of torque. It will shred tires. <clears throat> this came out on this one, I believe. Uh, it's it's an animal. It uh, will shred. It was a special event, I believe they had. But it's definitely fun. This one I finally got. At one of the events, didn't drive it much, but it looks pretty cool for a little for um, Mercedes Benz hatch. Uh, the black edition. Oh, and there's this one too, which is pretty cool. This one is hard to get. This was from an event. I uh, definitely glad that I was able to pick that one up. So here's a uh, regular GTO, then the Nismo, then the black edition with a blue hood. A black hood. Reason for that is in Fast and Furious, Paul Walker's actual in the movie had a black hood but a blue body, which was pretty cool. Uh, it's so it's pretty much a uh, memo of his vehicle that he drove with the black hood. Um, definitely is a beautiful car, but I would for the old school ones. So we got. Four of these, so there's a new one I picked up today. I do have some tune of those. My absolute favorite Nissan Skyline GTO V Spec 2. Absolutely love this Skyline. I was in the first. No. Too Fast Too Furious? Yeah, Too Fast Too Furious is when it played in. Uh, once I saw the car, I was like, man, that's a beautiful car. And, uh,. Yeah, twin turbos easily. Uh, I would keep it all JDM. Uh, also keep it old school uh, with the rims, stock, everything. It's definitely a beautiful car. Uh, definitely would tr if I could if I do import one to Canada, I would definitely do it. Um, but yeah, beautiful car. And then you got your Civic Spec O. <clears throat> Not one, but two. Definitely a nice find on that one. Same with this one. I think it's stock. And then you get the gold edition, which I got two of these bad boys. And then the Sibia, of course, to um, Drift Fast and Furious. It was the Mona Lisa. Uh, here's the Silver K. Uh, the Skyline GTO or V Spec 1997. Very nice. Then this one I actually did a video on as well. Uh, against and also the uh, Corvette. It was my first time doing that video. It was a little long could cut more out. 
But here's another VK, so I do have three more of these on here, but on the Forza, Forza said I got not one, but five, which is pretty crazy. 240SX, 20 years old, uh, definitely it was a remake paint-wise through NMLZ's cream colored 240SX, beautiful cool. Uh, he's done very good on that. He's uh, definitely making able to make things in the last. Uh, you get the 93 Skyline GLB spec, which is pretty cool. Uh, then there's another version of it lifted. Uh, the Serial Club K's. Then the All 31. But here's a cook for this one though. It's ready for drifting. It is real drive swapped, I believe is what I did. Brian O'Connor's Skyline 2000 ETO. Beautiful coal. <clears throat> Kept it legit, old school. I uh, love the paint. And then the newer version, uh, another one, but differently. Tune for drifting. Philly Z437, which showed the Z, the whole Z line for the 350 and 370Zs. Uh, definitely also made for drifting. Super low, nice wide body. This one also you can drift. Although I don't have it. Uh, the Plymouth Prowler, I think it's drift. I love the Pony GTO. I wish they would have bought the Forza Mario 7. But I don't think they did. I would have to double check. But definitely, uh, as a car you don't see drift often online. 500 horsepower. 508 for Pleasure Tour. 2,734 pounds. Uh, this one I saw, it's not bad. I like the cool little wing that comes out from the back. So it lifts up and then slides out, which is pretty cool. Uh, the 911 GT3 RS. The Cayman. Uh, the Cayman GTS, another one. The Wincon Turbo, it's all right for an SUV. But then uh, the Spyro, another one. 911 Turbo S. The 911 GT. As GT2 OS, then we got two of these GT3 OS 4.0s. Uh, the Flying Lizard, definitely pretty cool to see. I uh, hate to say it, but this Porsche Core GT was my uh, dream core for the GT, uh, for the for the uh, Porsche line. Uh, the reason why it's red it was, is what uh, Paul Walker had, but uh, definitely a nice core. It still is my dream car to have, but uh, I think I wouldn't be driving at all. But it's a high dream. That's really for the Porsches. <laughs> for the Final Fantasy game, which was cool. But uh, it's alright. My nice, my favorite, the Ram Robo 2013. Pushes 957 horsepower, 720 foot pounds of torque, 4,276 pounds. It's a heavy truck. But she can get some speed. Uh, Selena S7. Someone had one. They had problems. They took it back. End of story. So there's not one, but there's two. The Dosa Edition as well. There's another Viper. I have two of these. One stock. One's not as you can see. Uh, here's another one. So here's a BOZ wide body dope. Uh, definitely is for drifting. Here's the Horizon Edition, which is hard to get. WX, and this one is good and tuned by me a bit. It's got some good around speed and handling. Uh, that was from one of the movies. If you can pick it out, definitely leave it in the comments below. There's two of those movies actually of that one. Uh, Horizon Edition, non Horizon Edition. Okay, so it's these things. Ah, they're alright. I've never really driven it. And then there's the regular edition of it. The Terma Roma. I have no clue who ever made that car, but the good old Tesla. The Toyota GT86. Honestly, the, the Scion FRS. Super BOZ and the Toyota GT86 are three of the all same body styles, and I believe they might be the same engine too. Uh, that was in the uh, Power Wheels expansion as well, I believe. Uh, Horizon Edition stock. 
Uh, definitely got upgrades. This can put out an easy 1,000 horsepower and follow 800 foot pounds of torque. I've done it in Forza Horizon 2. I think it's just crazy with spin tires. First EGT with uh, pop up headlights. It was a good thing back then, but still pretty cool to see in some. The Batman. Never driven that one much. Uh, from Fast and Furious 7. Uh, it was a pretty crazy to see that one jump out of the window. Um, and that's about it. So that's all the cores. Uh, the ones I like, the ones that are meh, they're alright, but definitely could have been differently. But uh, until then, this is Jeff Shepard signing out. Don't forget to slap that button. If you haven't already and you're enjoying the content, subscribe, stay tuned for more. Don't hit, forget to hit that bell notification to stay tuned for more videos. But until then, Jeff Shepard 